Peace everyone, Unmask Art here, and today I'm going to show you how I live stream. Alright, so let's start with the equipment that I use. The first thing I'm going to show you is my webcam, and it's the Logitech C920. Now with just this webcam, you could set up a live stream. However, this would be the most budget version of what I have set up now. Okay, so the primary camera that I use is the Canon Legria. However, in the United States, this is called the Canon Vixia. This is a great little camera for the live streams because it allows me to zoom in and out during the live stream. It also has a memory card slot that allows me to record the live streams right onto the camera, which allows me to create time lapses after. All right, so the next important piece of equipment is my Blackmagic Ultra Studio Mini Recorder. This is the device that allows me to capture the live feed from my camera and transfer it to my computer. Now the last piece of equipment I use is my microphone. This is a Blue Yeti Snowball microphone. It's very budget friendly and this is how I get my audio. All right, now that we have all of our equipment, let me show you how I set it all up. So the first thing that I do is move my TV up a peg on my TV stand. Then I take my Logitech C920 webcam and place it on my mount. Then of course I plug it into my computer. Then on my Manfrotto magic arm, I mount my Canon Lingria and place the camera where I want it. Then I plug my camera in. Then I plug the HDMI cable into my camera and then the other end of the HDMI into my Ultra Studio Mini Recorder. And then I use a Thunderbolt cable to connect the Mini Recorder to my Mac Mini. Then I take my microphone, place it on my mic stand, plug it in, plug it into my computer. All right, now that we're all set up, it's time to get to the software side of things. The software that I use is OBS. It's a free software, so I'll have the download in the description of the video. Anyways, let's get into it. Okay, so once you have OBS downloaded and installed, when you open it up, you're gonna see some scenes and some sources, and this is where you put your images, your files, and your imports. So I have mine already set up for live streaming, and as you can see, you can see me here with my webcam and then also my Canon Legrera. Once you are in the program and you have it set up, you can move all this stuff around and change it the way that you want. I recommend when you get this program, just kind of play around in it, figure out how the mechanics of it work. You have your input sources down here. This is how you get your camera and everything imported. Here's my microphone right here. And then once you have that set up, you come over to YouTube. And this is the Stream Now version, which I never use. But if you wanted to use it, you come down here to the stream key or the stream name, copy this, come back over to OBS, click on settings, click on stream, and then you paste your stream key right here. And then you click OK. So if you wanted to set up an event, which is what I always do, you come here, schedule new event, give it a title, whatever. You click on create event. Right here, you're able to upload your thumbnail. And then right here on basic ingestion settings, you click that. I always stream at 720p. That way people are able to view it much easier. So I'll click on that. And then it will give me all this information. Here's the stream name for this specific stream. So I would just simply copy, come back over to OBS, go to settings, go to stream, and paste it, and then click OK. So if I go to the live control room, you'll see the status of the stream right here. Right now, there is no data coming through to the stream. So I go over to OBS, and I click on start stream. So we're gonna start streaming now. Down here, you'll see dropped frames, this is the time that you've been streaming, your CPU usage, and your frames per second. So I'm gonna go back over here, and you'll see that the status has changed to good. We are currently actively streaming to this live stream event. And then once you are all set up and ready to go, you click on preview, 
click OK, and then it will change to start streaming. It will take a moment to load, and once it's dark blue, you can click on it, click OK, and it will start streaming live. And everything that is in OBS that you see right here is currently what you're going to be streaming live. So if you go back over to OBS, you can set up different scenes. For instance, I have my thumbnail screen. This is what I always start with, and then I click on this to, to begin the stream. And then I also have my intro and other different scenes depending on what type of stream I'm doing. All right, so that is everything that I do from beginning to end. The last thing that I do is click stop stream. After that, the video is automatically uploaded to YouTube for people to watch and rewatch. All right, everyone, that's going to be it for this tutorial. Hopefully you found my setup helpful in organizing your own live streaming. You don't have to use two cameras the way that I do. Uh, my live stream setup is a, a bit over budget for most people, so you could probably just stick with the Logitech C920 camera if you wanted to start off really, really small and just kind of build your audience before you upgrade to the full set that I have. I do always recommend that you get uh, a moderate USB microphone. You can find plenty of them fairly cheap. This one is not very expensive and the audio quality is quite good. But anyways, feel free to ask any questions that you might have in the comments below. Also, make sure that you subscribe because I do live streams every Monday. And if you have more questions, you can come over to one of the live streams and ask as many questions as you want. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Peace.